A typical conversation starter this year was, can you believe how early the Jewish holidays are? Rosh Hashanah began on Labor Day weekend and Hanukkah on Thanksgiving weekend. And yet Purim and Passover fall on the later side. How can it be? It all stems from the complicated Jewish calendar, and more specifically the Jewish leap year, or in Hebrew, Shana Me'uberet, literally, a pregnant year. We know that in the Gregorian leap year, the one we all use, we add an extra day every fourth year. Is the Jewish leap year much different? <laughs> yes, a lot different. Let's begin with why we need a leap year. There are two commandments in the Torah that unless we use our Yiddish cup, our in ingenuity, will find themselves on a collision course. Number one, the Torah requires that the Jewish calendar will be based on the moon, how long it takes it to orbit the earth. Number two, it instructs us that Passover must be celebrated in the spring. So where is the problem? Let's do some simple math. The Gregorian calendar is solar. Based on the number of days it takes the Earth to complete an orbit around the Sun, which is 365.24. That's why we add an extra day every fourth year to make every year consist of a complete number of days. A lunar month has an average of 29.5 days per month. 12 months per year times 29.5 days per month equals 354 days per year. As you can see, the lunar year is 11 days shorter than the solar year. And here is the problem. The first Passover was indeed in the spring, but every year it falls 11 days earlier and it wouldn't be long before it appears in the winter, then in the fall and the summer. To prevent that from happening and keeping Passover always in the spring, we add an extra month every few years. Originally, the system was simple. The Jews observed a calendar of 12 lunar months. When it was time for Passover and no sign that spring was approaching, they added an, they added an extra month. That's why to this day, the extra month, Adar 1, is added before Passover. Later, they developed a mathematical formula in which seven times in 19 years, an extra month was added to the 3rd, 6th, 8th, 11th, 14th, 17th, and 19th year of the cycle. Instead of a Gregorian leap year of 366 days, a Jewish leap year has anywhere from 383 to 385 days, depending on whether, in a given year, the months of Cheshvan and Kislev each have 29 or 30 days. Our year 5782, for instance, has 384 days. Since we just added the extra month, the festivals before Purim, from Rosh Hashanah to Hanukkah, were early, and those after Purim, including Purim, are late. There are other fascinating facts related to the Jewish calendar, but I'll save them for future videos. See you next week.